know I crossed the line. Did you juggle it a little bit at the outset, or was it did you have it all the way? Yeah, did by the snap, but I was looking in the end zone. All right, Gary, let's do some Monday morning quarterback in here. Colin swears he crossed the line. He just put his the basically the nail in the coffin on the 49ers in that game. My word, Joe, you're going to blame him, huh? Uh, well, what I mean, he, he swears he crossed the line, but the video doesn't lie. I didn't hear a He swore? He swore. Nah, Not like last listen, time. That's just after the game. <laughs> he, Daria, you, you know what? I, I like to look forward. Yes. You want right. to bury a guy. Okay. Well, then tell me, are there playoff hopes in jeopardy because of this? Oh, of course. I, yeah. I think this is the first time in Harbaugh's four years here you, you really find out what everybody's made of. And, yeah. and by that, I mean, yeah, there were some disappointing losses in the playoffs and once in the Super Bowl, but not this early in the season when you're 4-4 four and four and you're three games back of Arizona in the division. You're going to find out, you know, if indeed all these rumblings about – uh, some guys are unhappy with Harbaugh and back and forth. You're yeah. going to find out now. All right. Did we you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yes. this is where you either, at this point in the season, you either pick it up and, and make a nice uh, uh, run towards the finish right. or you cave in. Or this was it. So, okay, on another note, did we find out uh, who's better in the eternal question of Brady or Manning? I like to call it Ginger or Marianne, but Zito says, no, it's more like Coke and Pepsi. Okay. Thank what, you, Gilligan's right? Island. I know. I was like, Ginger, Marianne, <laughs> he, he says, who are they in that scenario? I said, okay, fine. He, he says, Coke and Pepsi, they're both good, and you got a soda at the end of the day, yeah. but uh, who's going to refuse either one of them? I mean, but here we see that Brady wins. But, uh, yeah, it, you know, Zito's a, by the way, the best producer we, we, we've had here in the in 30 the history years I've been of here is Zito. He's terrific. <laughs> he is. But, but I, I believe, what, what? It, have Zito correct me, that the 16 times they have played each other, yes. Brady has won 13. But Brady has 11. 11. Brady has 11. And and, and how many for uh, uh, Peyton? He, and and Manny has five. Okay, it's 11 to five then. All right. So, you know, the, and you, there you got to say to the numbers lie. I, but either way, I think the question is moot. It doesn't really matter. Ginger and Marianne are both beautiful. Coke and Pepsi are both delightful. You, you know what got me yesterday? <laughs> while, you're, while you're trying to do pop culture, yes. I'm keeping it between the lines. Yes. When, when I woke up yesterday, I flipped on the TV and they're talking about the big game and there was a snowstorm in New England. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was a whiteout. Yeah. And yet I, by game time, they played, look, well, you're looking at the conditions, it looked fine. And they talk about Brady and how he cuts through the wind and how it doesn't seem to bother him at all. And I, you're going to argue with either one of them. Look, who are you going to bet on? Now, next, next game, it's Manning versus the Raiders so yeah. you know well, and, and here's the deal too uh, Brady's been to five Super Bowls yeah and won three Peyton's got one Super Bowl win so Be yeah right now Brady listen yeah uh, it all depends at the end of the year who's standing but right now Brady's uh, the boss so so we'll see Manny take on the Raiders and the Raiders we saw them lose again and Zito's question to you this morning is are they the best uh, eight oh and eight team ever because they looked better <laughs> they looked better I, yeah, yeah, they're better. I, I wouldn't say. Well, I remember the uh, Chicago Cardinals back in 1962 started slow. Did, did they yeah. look? Did has any team looked this good sucking? You know but, what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I don't. Listen, Daria, I, I'm funny. At the end of the day, did you win or not? Now, I'm not yeah, saying you, well. you can't individually go, well, this guy's playing pretty well. Right. But all this stuff, you're the best 0-8. Oh, <laughs> just okay. hopefully you're not the best 0-16. Well, we're looking team. for something. They've uh, got to win one. Hey, with the World Series and the parade and everything, we were looking at all the videos and our live cameras and stuff. But there, was, um, a there were a couple of things that we didn't get to focus on. Number one is now this morning we could focus on what's looming, which is Panda. So what do you think? I mean. Did you call him Sandoval? Okay, but I listen. The guy wants Pence money, like at least ninety million over five years. That's a lot of bamboo. Is he worth it? Well, if you're going to give it to Pence, you got to give it to him. And and I'd even go a, a step further, you know, and say give him five years, give him a hundred, just to show him, you know. Listen, that when Pence got it, they had what one world championship under their belt. And now they've got three. Thanks to Panda, right? Well, uh, uh, he's, he's, he's certainly right near hits. the top yep. because he responds when the stakes are the largest. And yeah. that's something you can't teach. Yes. You, know, you can't say, well, work hard, work hard, so when we get to the playoffs, you'll be better. No, no, no. You, you just either have it or you don't on the, big, the old big stage. 
and he has it. So it's 8.59 is the deadline for the Giants to make an offer he can't refuse. Like then everybody, the Red Sox. 8.59 when? Eight, tonight, our time. Yeah, but what they do is they offer him like 15 million. Yeah. And no, no, seriously. Right. And then the, the, it's like a little dance. They offer it's a qualifying offer. I see. And then they automatically turn it down. No hard okay. feelings on this one. Okay, all right. You know what I mean? Uh, you just turn it down. Yeah. And then and you go from there. So, And then the other thing that our cameras missed with all our live cameras in the parade gear was turns out, I guess, Hunter, I, I guess uh, Bumgarner wanted to ride a, uh, a police horse in the parade. Remember we saw him with the cops taking pictures? Yeah. With Tieran Ross in the Chronicle had this picture. So the cops, because they didn't want him to fall off, they did let him get on and take a picture but I thought that was adorable yeah no it was cute because Greg sir we found out the uh, chief of police thought for a moment and then he <laughs> said boy if he ever fell off oh my gosh he would hurt his bum and I do have your mad bum undies on right now I want to thank you again for giving me the jockey undies I don't understand why there's a pocket here I don't really need a pocket in the front yeah but I do have the mad bum. believe me my wife Felicia <laughs> goes thanks a lot you're you do have them on get, oh my gosh oh geez too bad terrible all right see you later Gary. all right oh